Barber fakes the play ahead. Now he's in some trouble. Barber is going to be dropped back at the 17-yard line. And you saw Walker come up to make the tackle. Mike Walker, number 90. That's what they have done so very effectively coming in. They have put pressure on the quarterback continuously. And with a come to their side of the field. First down ball at the 44-yard line. The pitch comes to Williams. He's got two blockers in front. A flag is down. He runs out of bounds very close to a first down as they spotted at the 33. A 42-yard field goal. Belli's kick looks long enough. It is good. Barry Belli boots one through from 42, and with 12-12 to play in the first quarter, he has given the Bulldogs of Fresno State the lead. Half of the football field. Gibson White, the wide receivers. Barber looking for White. Throws it short instead to Hood, the fullback. He's knocked down immediately as he gets close to the 27-yard line. Greg Williamson hit him. Both wide receivers now. White and Gibbs to the top of the screen. Calhoun reverses his field. He'll be dropped for a loss of a yard. Cliff Hanneman, number 77. Coming in, he had 69 tackles, and against Pacific, he had 10 solos, 18 total in the game. Hanneman is all over the field. This time, they split the running backs instead of going out of the eye formation. Straight back as Barber looks up the middle. He's under pressure, and they've got him for the second time tonight. That is Ramsey, Greg Ramsey, number 87. It's the second sack in the first two possessions of the ball game. Another sack for this outstanding defense. Baker to the bottom of the screen, Taylor to the top. He goes instead to Williams out of the backfield. At the 30 to 25, he's out of bounds. It's a first down for the Bulldogs of Fresno State. Howard made the defensive play, but Williams delayed, took it out of the backfield, and picks up good yardage. Sweeney got shoulder problems in the last few weeks. He's really picked up the slack. And here is Williams following the lead of his fullback. At the 15, he turns it back at the 10. He's dropped inside the 10-yard line. Ryan Kazarian leading the blocking, number 64, from the guard spot. The tackle was made by number 30, Trent Baker. You know, John, I was talking about the fact that the running backs had to pick up the slack when Sweeney bruised his shoulder. James Williams shows how they were able to do that. Against Pacific, they ran the ball 27 times in a row. They're known for their passing, but as you can see here, they have the ability. They have the linemen and the running backs to get the job done. To the left of the quarterback, Sweeney. The full house backfield. Mosley dives in for the score. Anthony Mosley. The heavy T, as they call it, produces a touchdown. Calhoun is still on the bench. Reverse to Pierce. They were waiting for that one. You saw Michael Stewart. He stayed home. He played it perfectly. Number five makes the play defensively. John. White and Gibbs to the top of the screen. Quick give to the fullback. Some room for Hood. Mark Hood, a first down and more. Plows his way down to the 36-yard line of Fresno State. Webster Williamson right him to the ground. Here is Strandley. It'll be 37 yards. The kick is blocked and picked off. The Bulldogs of Fresno State. Grayson got in there. Coming up with the football is Michael Stewart, number five. But credit David Grayson. And the folks in red love it here in the doghouse. To down. Strandley's kick is up. And he missed it to the right. No, it is good. It got in. It looked like it was going to be wide right. The officials came out and said good. So at 10-33, the Titans finally take advantage of some good field position. They cut the lead. It's Fresno State 10, Fullerton State 3. Ball at the 28, first and 10. Sweeney fakes to the tailback. Steps up in the pocket and fires the football on target. That's Baker. He's got a first down outside the 40-yard line. At the 41, it'll be first and 10. Let's go back down to the... Big hole for Williams across midfield at the 45. He's still on his feet. Down to the 35-yard line. It was right there. Right call, huh, Gene? Right call at the right time. Obviously, Fullerton expecting the pass. Great call. Let's watch from the end zone. Dropping back the linebackers get out of position. James Williams runs through there. A truck could get through that hole. 
That's a situation where you call the right play at the right time. Now on the same side of the field, they go oh. to the fullback, Mosley with a big hole, oh, oh. and the Bulldogs have lost the football, the Titans come up with it inside at their own nine-yard line. So the defensive play, the ball kicked loose, and Mike Schaffel, number 41, made the recovery. But inside, and they do that by splitting those tackles out and the guards out. This is an audible. You can see that Barber is changing the play. Here's the line of scrimmage. Blitz is under pressure, and they've got him back in the backfield once again. It is they're going to have good field position. Almost to the back of the end zone. Nice kick. Baker will track it down at the 45. Starts left and comes right. He's got some room down the sideline. Baker finally dropped inside the 20. The ball will be spotted near the 16-yard line. Great field position. Sheriff who snaps the back. The primary receiver is covered. He has to roll left. Throws on the run. And it's a touchdown. An unbelievable play as the ball kicked into the hands of Gene Taylor. Williams on the reverse. Baker has it. One man to beat at the 30. Does that. Inside the 20. Down to the 15-yard line. So a little razzle-dazzle from the Bulldogs. Well, number 82, Mark Chisholm. Watch number 82, Mark Chisholm. He's saying, okay, you're coming my way. I'm where I'm supposed to be doing my job. But, oh, where'd he go? <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Third down and 20. Queenie firing this time. It's complete. Dean Taylor has it. Long completion to Taylor. He moves back down inside. Fullerton's. In motion is Jenkins. Sweeney. Got his man inside the 20. Now they're near the 16-yard line. A big pickup for Fresno State. Howard defensively, but that was Jenkins who went in motion. He came back to pick up the football, and Sweeney now starting to move this offense. This is what we call a corner pattern. The receiver, Baker's going to break to the post, look inside now, go back outside. Excellent thrown football. You see, he didn't have to jump, didn't have to leave his feet, the ball right on the money. So inside the 40, Belli is very accurate. This one will be about a 27-yard attempt. It looks good, it's true. And out of the backfield once again, Williams and Mosley. We'll set the rest of them as we get a chance. Thank to Williams, Sweeney drops and rolls a little bit to his right. He's forced outside, throwing on the run. Downfield is complete. The pass is caught deep in territory by Paul Fluke, the tight end, but we have another flag on the play. All the way back at the 32-yard line, James Howard made the tackle. Sweeney took a lot of time, finally found his tight end. Kevin Sweeney made such a nifty move on the right sideline. Watch on the right sideline as he moves to the right looking for a receiver. That move right there that bought the time. There's was the able hit. to get the pass away. There's the flag comes down for the hit out of bounds. Record. Sweeney rolling far to his right. Now he comes all the way back the other way. Being chased by Brian. He's still got it. He's hit. He loses the ball. And Cal State Fullerton has come up with it. Now White and Gibbs both to the top of the screen. The wide receivers, Barber straight back. Later pressure. And he has to hang on to the football. That was Brian Greer right on top of him. The middle linebacker coming on the play. You called it, Gene. The blitz was there, and Barber did not have enough time. Keep the six points here. Forget about the field goal. Barber dives. Is he in? Yes, touchdown. They take it all the way. 75 yards for the touchdown. Barber gets it, and they are right back in the football game. Dogs of Fresno State, Sweeney missed his first three tonight. He's 9 of 13 since then, and he is still firing. If he goes across the field, that's Baker. Baker has it, plenty of room as he moves it out to about the 37-yard line. I think they're beginning to sort of get a sense of that, and the coach is saying, hey, fellas, let's wake up. we got to win this football game. Sweeney fakes to Williams, rolls right. Going deep, the pass is complete to the tight end. He's inside the 25, still riding his way close to the 20 is Chris Dugan, number 84. They will spot it at the 21-yard line. There's Dugan. Field goal of the night is Barry 
Belli. He has hit two so far this evening. This one will be a 35-yard attempt. No block! So the Titans again get the turnover. Howard got the block. He comes up with the football, and Cal State Fullerton has it back exactly three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Is it going to be long enough? It is, and the game is tied. It did not look like it was going to get there, kind of spinning sideways, but it made it. 13-13 with 17 seconds left in the third quarter. Smith will take it at the eight-yard line. A little bit of a hole as he breaks through in midfield. Across the 40, cuts it back. He's got a chance at the 40. Can they track him down? Yes, inside the 30-yard line. Brukup made the tackle, the touchdown saving tackle, and right back come the Bulldogs. Well, the Bulldogs didn't get where they are by folding up 10 when times get tough. Number two, Brock Smith breaks to the inside, and what a great move as he gets back to the outside and turns on the speed. The problem is Fullerton has the angle, and that's the only thing that prevents a touchdown, is that they had a good angle on him. Brock Smith. 64 yards for Brock Smith. There's that heavy T offense. Here's Mosley. That's it. He'll be all alone for the touchdown. Anthony Mosley in the end zone, and the Bulldogs have regained the lead. This time they reverse roles. James Williams leading the blocking for Anthony Mosley, his second touchdown of the night. And driving for the tying touchdown. Take to Calhoun. Barber rolling to his left. He's got room out in front. He throws on the move for the end zone. Touchdown! The touchdown to a fullback hood. And now Cal State Fullerton an extra point away from tying it up again. That time Barber kept the play alive. Hood broke loose and he was all alone. Football. You'll see the Bulldogs again next Thursday night. Again, 9 o'clock Eastern time. Mosley, the fullback with all kinds of room. He's across midfield, knocked off his feet. Not before he gets to the 42-yard line. Mike Schaffel nailed him, but he was wide open. Skipper. He's got room at the 10. He's run out of bounds as he gets inside the 10-yard line. Paul Portizzi from his right guard position leading the blocking, and Skipper bangs it down inside the 10. Does he have enough for a first down? Looks like it. Skipper is not the tallest back, but he is really the best back in the open field when it comes to running. It shows his speed as he gets to the outside. That's a nifty job. Portizzi on the block. Paul Portizzi, number 62, leading the way. There you see it. They come back to the short side. Touchdown! Fresno State answers. The Bulldogs have come right back. Sims and Skipper leading the blocking. It is James Williams who took it into the end zone and puts the Bulldogs back in front. White and Gibbs to the wide side of the field. Let's see what Barber does on first down 10. But Calhoun bounces out of there, but he's not going to get away. This time Calhoun will not get away. Not out of the grasp of Cliff Hanneman, number 77. Pearson Hood, the running back. Fans are on their feet. No tricks here. Barber steps up, throws. Is it intercepted? It is. The diving interception made by Michael Stewart. Stewart picks it off. The Bulldogs with 2.19 to go are in business. Severe angle. So I think what he wanted to do was to get a better angle for Belli. It becomes a 32-yard attempt. Belli's kick is up and true. And three more on the board for the Bulldogs. Fresno State increases its lead to 30 to 20. A 10